In this video, we'll be looking into NECO 25 Agricultural Science Practical Preparatory. And these are the specimens we have. I mean, the specimen released by NECO official. So the specimen are into A to J, as you can see it in your screen. So I categorize this specimen into four categories. So whereby I'll be talking about the first category now. Now looking at the first category, that is specimen A, B, C. Now specimen A is on um, body zoo, B is file, and C is what? Manual drag. Now what is the meaning of that body zoo? Is an um a tool used by um uh, mostly um veterinary medicine, so also um, animals boundary people or sometimes agricultural science people. So now what do they use it for? They use it to castrate uh, male animals such as cattle. So it looks something like this. As you can see this thing now, it's something like this. So that's a, a do. Uh, this is a pincher, so it is it, so it's not this actually, but it's something like this, whereby they will use it to castrate, like to remove the testes or um, the, the testes or the scrotum from the scrotum, rather the testes of um, a uh, cow or any male cattle, you understand, or male animal. So this place will be hooked, I mean, they will use this place to hook the testes or, or the, the scrotum, anyone, then they use it to what to remove the. Test, and the testes of that male animal, so to castrate the male animal, that is what the body zoo is used for. The specimen B is file. Now, everybody knows file. File is used to like to sharpen any metals, such as file is used to file or to sharpen a um, cutlass, knife, or any any metals, any metals used in the in the farm. And this specimen C. Specimen C is a manual drag. Now, how does it look like? Picture it as if you are looking at a rake. So it looks similar like a rake. So what they used to use it for? They use it to what? Like, like to spread out manure in the farmland. You understand? So this manure drag is of two types. There is one that is attached to tractor. So they were attached to the front of a tractor. So once the tractor is moving, they are able to spread the, the manure, like to spread this around the farmland also. So that is what this manual drag is used for. But the one they will present to you on the day of the exam is like it will look like a rake. So that rake now they can just use it to what to spread the manure on the farmland or, or probably to gather up manure together. So that is what is useful. Now let's now go into the possible questions they can ask you based on this first category specimen. Now the first question they might ask you or they can ask you is that they can ask you to identify specimen A. B, C. So, if they ask that, let me label this on one A. So, if they ask you to identify specimen A, B, C, specimen A is body zoo, as you have seen it here. So, that is body zoo. And likewise, specimen B, specimen B is a um, file. And specimen C is a manual drag. So, now that is the first question they will actually. Or they may actually ask you because this is a preparatory class. This is not the actual question, but there are possible questions that you should add up to whatever you are reading for your exam. So another question they can now ask you is that they can ask you to state one uses of each of these specimen. So let me maybe this one one B. So specimen A, what is it used for? Specimen A is used for um bloodless castration of uh, male animals. Like I've said earlier, it's used to castrate male animals that, that means it is used to remove their testes in their scrotum so they used to remove it so that anytime those male animals are eating they will not they will I mean they will not be able to reproduce again just to be getting fatter fatter without any reproduction again so it is used for bloodless castration of male animal so used for bloodless that means when they castrate those animals there won't be any blood bloodless um, castration castration of male animals I, I said it is male animals because basically they use it for cattles you understand but sometimes they can use to castrate any of the male animals so also for B file what is file used for it is used to sharpen or smoothing tools so used to sharpen or smoothing tools 
so that so therefore that is what that um file is used for to sharpen any farm tools in form made up of metals so for specimen c specimen c is used to remove and what and carry manure from animal pain used to remove it is used to remove and what and carrying manure from animal pain from animal pain so although this specimen c is also used to what to distribute manure across the feed like i've said earlier is a manure drug so you can use it to what to spread manure to spread it very well you understand across the feed that feed simply means that maybe your farmland or your pen or anywhere so that is what it is used for so another question they can ask they can now ask is that they can ask you to mention two precautions to take when using specimen a that is um, one c so now the precaution to take when using specimen a is that number one is that you should just ensure that the bodies are the body is rather is sterilized before and after you use so you should um you should ensure the body is uh, is what sterilized before and um, and after use and after use so another thing another um, precaution you can take when it's specimen A is that you should confirm proper position to avoid damage um, the uretra. So that's just it. So we should confirm proper positioning positioning to avoid um to avoid damaging the uretra. The Uretra. So that's actually the two precaution you should ensure when you use specimen A. So another question they might actually ask you. Let me name that one D. So they can ask you to give two disadvantages of using specimen C. So the disadvantages of this specimen C, that is what manual drag is that it requires human effort to operate. You understand? Because you have to make use of a uh, you holding the the uh, the tools that looks like quick in order for it to, uh, to spread the manure across the feed so it requires human effort to operate that's one of the advantages it requires human effort to operate so another one is that it cannot be used over a long distance easily like that you understand so it cannot be used over a long distance over a long distance easily so that is it now um these are the questions that i have for you in this first category now let's move to the second category second category says that granite calcium carbonate and sieve so the specimen d granite we all know granite granite is like a stone so whereby they used to use it in building construction sometimes whenever they are constructing wood so they usually use granite or probably whenever they are building houses so they use granite it's like a stone it's very familiar like it's very common most students can easily identify what granite it used to shine like this so it's a stone so that's granite and specimen e is calcium carbonate I believe that all science students are those doing agricultural science. This agricultural science. So calcium carbonate is a uh, is a limestone, also known as limestone. So then the chemical symbol is CaCO3 in chemistry. So it's very is a is a common thing that everybody knows. Calcium carbonate, CaCO3, limestone used in making cement. Mm -hmm. And then the specimen F, that is what sieve. Everybody knows sieve now, at least uh, to separate, even in chemistry, we all know sieve that sieve is used to separate um, a, solid a, a solid sample of different sizes. So, whenever you sieve something, see something as this sieve. Now, what possible question can they ask us in this second category is that number one is that they can ask us to identify specimen DEF. So, let me name that 
2a so specimen d e f so he's already there so specimen d that's what granite granite so why specimen e is of limestone that's calcium carbonate that's calcium carbonate four or calcium carbonate so i'm just writing the chemical symbol but you can as well write write it in form of this calcium like c a l c write it in word not in chemical symbol and this specimen m that's c so so that's it so that's the first question i have for you in this second category another question they can ask you is that okay they can ask you to state one agricultural uses of um, or use of each of those um, specimens so what is this guy used for what is this this guy used for and also what is this guy used for let me name that um to be and that is to be so now what is a um, what is this granite used for it is used in construction or used in constructing farmland i mean farm road you understand and buildings you know i made i i pinpointed farm because this topic is related to agri so anything you are seeing any uses you are saying you have to be relating it with what agricultural purposes although we use granite for other things though, apart from uh, um, apart from construction of a um, farm road or farm building so it's related for another thing as well outside the farmland but because based on the topic agricultural science so try to relate anything you are saying here yeah, be relating it with what agriculture so as i said earlier i said it is used in constructing farm roads and what and buildings so using constructing Using constructing what farm uh, farm roads and building, constructing farm roads and what and building buildings. Okay, now what about specimen E? What is it used for? That is um the calcium carbonate. What is it used for? So it is used to correct soil acidity. That's what is used for in, in the aspect of agriculture so used to we are used to correct soil acidity so used to correct soil acidity f is used for soil um, particle size analysis so that is what this sieve is used for in agricultural purposes like in agricultural science feed so they use it to to um to analyze um, soil particle sizes or size so use them um, for for soil um, soil particle size analysis based on agricultural purposes. That's why that's why you have to specify. You have to talk in the aspect of what agriculture. So that's that. Now another question I will uh, predict for you here based on this second category is that well you should mention you can ask you to mention two differences between specimen d and e to give that to c okay now d e right no difference that means you have to tabulate so the first is that now look at specimen d now specimen d is granite and e e is a um, limestone that's calcium carbonate so one of the things is that d is inert yeah and does not affect soil ph so that's it um, is in that and it does not affect and doesn't affect um doesn't affect the soil ph doesn't affect the soil ph ph okay now what about e so the e that e limestone what now and what are limestones that one neutralizes um soil acidity so this one used to neutralize or neutralize this neutralize soil acidity okay now for the second one now the difference between this granite and this calcium carbonate is that that granite is used for construction you understand used for construction used for construction you can write it finish used for construction construction of what construction of um farm or farm rows or buildings and so on but e, e is used for soil amendment that's for the calcium carbonate so it's used for so used for used for soil amendment 
in agri in agriculture. So we use for soil amendment. Okay. So another question they can ask in this same second category is that they can ask you to state two uses of specimen F in soil science. That is, what is the use of that seed in soil science? Let me give that to D. Okay. Now in soil science. What can they use that sieve for? One of it is that it can be used to separate soil into different particle sizes. So that's number one. So it can be used, uh, used to separate soil into different particle sizes or size. Okay, now another thing there, another uh, uses of this uh, sieve is that it can be used to determine soil texture, exactly, or soil texture class. So, can be used to determine, used to determine soil texture, soil texture class. So, that's that. So, this is everything I have for you. In this second category so i'll be ending this video here then in uh, my next video i'll be working on the third category and the fourth category so if you need the um third and fourth category you can do well to request for it by asking me under the comment section that i will send you the link for the third and the fourth category it will be in a single video whereby i will send you the link then you watch and ensure to share this video thank you so much for watching this video please share this video give us a like thumb a nice comment bye